Hey guys, it's Constance with Charming Custom Crafts, and I know that there might be some picto um, tutorials and pictorials out there on this, but I have been asked and for a long time because Nancy would like to do a um, stick pin swap, and I do have more pick stick pins, but I don't know where I put them. I hide them because I'm always afraid because they're super sharp. Um, but this is the one that I made this afternoon so that I can show you how pretty they can be. Um, I sent these out, the teapot, with my ATCs with a um, with a uh, pearl to do a little stick pin and I don't know if they got why I sent it to them but I know that Nancy did because Nancy sends the stuff and I promised Nancy that when I got my arm back that I would do a quick tutorial on it but she sent two stick pins which was what was this one and then one with a pearl tip and if you go to the floral department or even in the fabric department you can find stick pins and you can get any kind of beads anywhere from quartz crystal glass um, at plastic there's so many different designs even stones that you can use um, and, and in this case I used one of hers and it was a little purple with a little swirl which I thought was really pretty to go on a teapot instead of a regular round bead and then I used a little piece here because this one was already here and um, I actually when I was going to teach this a while ago I actually went out and bought some floral pins which can turn into stick pins um, and I'm going to show you what I use here in a second, but I wanted to open up this bag and to keep them from flying everywhere, I wanted to stick them in there. Now, um, I'm going to use the pearl one. What you use to, um, and I don't know if you can see it, right here is a double, it's a pop dot, and you want to keep the backs on them or put a piece of paper on it, and you want to stick it down in here when it's not being used, otherwise, ow, okay, yeah, and that hurt. Uh, but I buy different types of pens to use. They, they, you know, they were real famous as hat pens. You can still use them as hat pens. Um, they're real popular now in cards and in scrapbooking layouts and multimedia things. Um, but I'm going to use what Natalia sent in the ATC, and I'm going to stick it in here. And again, I want to share where I did send them out as a gift. Um, for being part of the swap because anytime I do a, a swap or have a hostess on the page I always do something free and I did put the teapot piece in here so it's the top and the bottom and this one I'm not going to do it what, what you're going to need is you're going to need glossy accents for this and, and it's going to take a little time to dry but you can go into the floral department or and even in Walmart and you can pick these up uh, but they're floral pins, and there's this one that happens to be the exact one that I, you know, that was in that Nancy gave me, but it's got the same top. Some of them will come with beads already at the top, just like this pearl. Uh, it'll save you. You already have your top there, so it's basically a stopper for you. Um, so I'm going to stick that stick pin in there because I don't want stuck. Uh, this package, by the way, before anybody asks me, has 100 pieces, so I can do 100 stick pins out of this. Nancy's going to be doing a stick pin swap. The information is coming here within the next few days on my page. But since I have a stopper at the top, I'm going to use what she has sent me so I can show you here. Um, I'm going to take, since I have two of these, and I have a pearl there. Um, I always take the, the glossy accents. I always store it on its side. To Actually, I store it upside down. Uh, when it's full, I store it on its side. And what I do is I stick a little bit of the glossy accent. It acts as a stopper and a glue, and you just roll it as you put it on. Let me pull this back and see if you can see that. You want to roll it as you squeeze just a little bit on to where you can see that it beads up. And I know you can see that. Um, so when you take that, you take the bottom of this, and you're going to take your bead, and you're going to thread it on. So that now you have that piece here. Now you're going to continue to do that um, beading by throwing a thin layer on and I hope you guys can see this it's super easy they become very pretty to use in layouts in multimedia projects and in cards and people just love them now I'm, I'm actually going to put a, just a little bit more on because of what piece I'm putting on next and that is the butterfly that Natalia sent um, it happens to have a piece up through the middle and there you go see how pretty that is now I am going to stick I am hoping, I don't know if it will fit into there, it should. I am going to put a little bit more of the glossy accents, and it's, what it does is it seals it in place. Now, it's going to be even more interesting. You're going to have to find a place for it to dry upside down 
Um, you don't want to dry it on its side because it won't dry right. And when you're using a three-dimensional piece like this, it's not going to be so easy to get an even spot. So just keep kind of going back and forth till you get what you think is enough. Um, and since I have an indentation, I'm being a little more careful. Um, so I'm going to stick this other one that matches. And then I have that. It's super cute already. See how pretty? And it will slide. That's the reason why you got to be careful. And then I'm going to put a pearl on it. And I'm going to stop there because I don't like to go all the way down. And I'm using a pearl because it has a pearl tip already. So, Nancy, I'm using both what you and um, Natalia sent me. As promised, I said I would do this. And this is why I was using the box. So I'm going to put a little bit more glossy accent. And I'm going to beat it. I can't roll it so much now because I have so much on it. Um, but you try to roll it, and I, what I do is I try to roll it a little bit afterwards so that it does beat if it doesn't. And if I can find the hole. My nails are so long, I need to go get them done. I was going to do it today, but I'm, I'm hurting really bad. There it is. And see if I can get it down through there. And there it is. Um, so you're going to definitely want uh, to put one more droplet. And I should be able to roll it now because I'm not using the bottom. See, I should be able to roll it a little bit. Um, and you definitely want to keep it rolling. And it, like I said, it acts as a stopper. So I hope that you guys on my Facebook page participate in what Nancy is going to be announcing. Well, I'll post it for her, but um, it's going to be a, a stick pin swap. And she's going to be asking everybody to do one or two stick pins for each person that signs up. It may just be one to keep it simple to start with. And it just, it comes out so pretty. Let me see if I can uh, put that over here. See if you can see that. Look how beautiful that is. And it took me just a few, what, two minutes to do. And like I said, you want to let it dry upside down. And I always find something and I have a... Um, uh, a rosette ribbon that somebody had made me in one of my swaps and cards and I actually just stick it up in there upside down because it'll hold really well so if you've got like a, a rosette ribbon like an award type ribbon and you have it sticking up I just stick it up in one of the folds and, and it dries pretty easy but there you guys go it's a quick little lesson it's really easy and they're very pretty and the best thing I can tell you is to recycle your old jewelry uh, that's already broken, your children's jewelry. Seed beads will not work very well. Uh, I don't really recommend them. You can, but I don't recommend them. They're super tiny. You'd have to have a really thin wire stick pin. So uh, I'm going to stick this up and it's going to dry and I'm going to have a really pretty stick pin. Um, and I, I don't want to stick them up, up this way because I don't want it to slide anymore. But I think it came out beautiful, guys. I hope you participate in the stick pin swap that's about to be announced in the next couple days. Enjoy and know it's super easy. You saw me do it. My information's down here over the side. See you on Facebook.